In light of the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen digital platforms magnify in terms of their political, economic, their technological, and their societal powers. Now, what I'm interested in is to take a closer look at the labor realities of some of these platform workers. I decided to contrast two case studies. On the one hand, a location-based platform, here being Amazon Warehouse Workers of its e-commerce platform. And on the other hand, a web-based case study, here being Amazon Mechanical Turk and its workers. Now, coming from a historical materialist perspective in which I contextualize workers within their larger political economic conditions, and at the same time center the debate around labor's agency, I ask the following question. How does the organization of workers, here being location-based and web-based, relate to the different ways by which these workers have collectively organized and mobilized amidst the pandemic? For that, I take a closer look at their structural power, here being their marketplace and workplace power, and I argue that when it comes to the Amazon warehouse workers, we've seen a further dwindling of their marketplace power as a result of co-evolving political economic conditions of living and laboring amidst the pandemic. Now, when it comes to their workplace power, it is quite interesting and fascinating because it shows increased potentials. We've seen mobilizations and manifestations of it across the globe in which workers have at least initially framed their labor struggle in relation to health and safety concerns, risks and conditions of working within a warehouse amidst a pandemic. So the fact that they are location based has been integral to their labor struggle. Now, the reality is somewhat different when we take a look at the Amazon Mechanical Turk workers, who are by definition web-based. On the one hand, they too experience the weakening of their marketplace power because of course they are located within their material conditions and also of living and laboring amidst a pandemic. But when it comes to their workplace power, they cannot frame their labor struggle in the same way in relation to health and safety concerns because they're web-based. And it is incredibly difficult to disrupt web-based gig work. And hence, what we see is workers have, and they continue, to instrumentalize digital spaces in order to foster solidarity amongst each other. So on that note, I hope by contrasting these different platforms within the context of the pandemic, I was able to shed light on some of the repercussions or further repercussions of how platforms organize workers and how these relate to the larger political economic conditions, their working conditions, and of course, labor's agency.